Guys and welcome to this video tutorial with me, Simon Bennett. I'm the head strength coach down here at Beaches Gym on the Northern Beaches. I'm also a crystal director in Isogenics and I wanted to answer a question that I get asked a lot with my clients and also other people out in the Isogenics community and that is how do I use the Isogenics energy and performance range to maximize my workouts? And I do it one of two ways. So I'm gonna give two videos. The first video today is gonna to be about a strength workout okay so this is for when you're going to go into a gym pre-workout get yourself warmed up you're hitting some weights for around about an hour and then what to do immediately after that workout and this is what i do there's obviously different methods you can use as well but this is something that works really well for me and also my clients here at my gym okay so what you'll see on the board here is a timeline from before the workout zero to 60 minutes and then between 60 the completion of workout and 45 minutes underneath that time 15 minutes out from your workout, I would suggest taking your e-shot. Ideally, you want that e-shot pre-workout, okay? I know a lot of people kind of get flustered, they get to the gym, they start taking the e-shot when they get there. That's not bad, but ideally, if we can think about 15 minutes pre-workout, we can get that e-shot into your system. That's gonna help you, especially get focused. So when you do get into the gym, you're not thinking about your day, you're not thinking about how tired you are from your day at work. You're just gonna be focused and ready and just charged and awake. So then we get into the workout at zero minutes, I imagine, depending where you're working out, or if it's a group class as well, you'll start your warm-up protocol. Between 15 minutes before and kind of into that 15 minute workout uh, warm-up, that's when I use my amped power. And that's what I call the power zone. So amped power is one of my favorite energy and performance supplements that I use with the Isogenics range. And it's ideal to get 15 minutes before the workout. If you miss that pre 15 minute section, don't worry. Get it into your body when you just get to the gym. If it's in your gym bag, don't worry too much because what we wanna make sure is that that amp power is starting to have its effect as you start to get into your main set. So if we fast track forward here, we're about 15 minutes into the workout. The amp power is working its way into the bloodstream. We're starting to feel the benefits of using that amp power. And what I like to do about halfway into the workout, I'll actually go across to my bag and then by that time I've finished my amp power, I'll refill my water bottle with water and then I add my amp to recover. Now, the reason why I start using recover during my workout is because as we go through this workout, we're gonna to start to break down muscle fibers and that, just, with that process is gonna to start to naturally fatigue you. So what you'll feel is that amp power is pushing you through that workout but towards the end of that workout, you can start to feel a little bit sluggish. So that's a great time to get that amp to recover straight in with your second load of water. So quickly moving on to the 60 minute marker, which I've just done for the, uh, for the argument of this case. That being the end of your workout. If it's longer, it's longer. If it's less, it's less. I've just said 60 minutes. As soon as you finish your workout, we have what's called a metabolic window. And that is between the minute you finish your workout and 45 minutes. We don't wanna be taking our protein any further past that 45 minutes because we don't want it to get into what we call a catabolic state where your body's gonna actually start breaking down readily available muscle to use for energy. We wanna make sure that there's a great source of uh, protein there to allow your body to go through that synthesis. So I've just put here Isoline or Isoline Pro. Obviously being a strength coach, I only use Isoline Pro. And um, really if you're making sure that you're hitting that as soon as you finish your workout, I like to see my guys come in using their amp power and they recover during their workout. And then as soon as they finish, they are shaking up their shake and they're out the door with their shake. At least I know then that they're gonna be consuming that Isoline Pro within that 45 minute window. So guys, just to have a recap, 15 minutes before we start a training session, the e-shot goes down, we come into the gym, we feel pumped. We're there using our amp power, we're prepping the body, making ourselves ready, getting the muscles fired up. During that workout, we can mix up that recover, sip that towards the latter stage of your workout, and then as soon as you finish, you're there with your Isoline Pro. I hope that was uh, beneficial for you guys, and I'll post another one to show you what I do for my endurance athletes as well.